Hi, my name is Riley. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Sager traction splint. So the indications for using a traction splint is going to be a midline femur fracture. Contraindications would be any other fracture in that area. If the hip is fractured, we cannot use a traction splint. So what happens with the midline femur fracture is that the bone is going to slide like this. So that's going to create a large cavity for blood to fill. So it's a bleeding issue on top of the fact that it's extremely painful for the patient. So we're going to slide it out like this. Once you have traction, you're never going to release traction. So I'm going to have my partner here grab his right leg and pull traction for me. All right, so once we have traction being held, we're going to check PMS and we're going to check it bilaterally. So we're going to check the pulse first, okay? And we're going to ask him, can you wiggle your toes? Okay, can you feel this? Can you feel this? What toe am I touching? What toe am I touching? Okay, so this is the adult Sager traction splint. We're going to open it up here. Okay, once you open the bag, you're going to have your unipolar traction device. You're going to have your ish shield strap. You're going to have your ankle strap. And you're going to have three additional straps. So when it comes to applying the traction splint, we're going to have the ish shield pad here with the articulating head. We're going to make sure this is always facing down. If need be, you can easily take it off and switch it to adjust it for which leg you're putting it on. So you're always going to want this wheel facing out. So if it's the right leg, we're going to have it facing this way. If it's the left leg, we're going to have it facing this way. After sizing it on the unaffected leg, we're going to apply it to the affected leg and we're going to put it against the ish shield pad. And you can see here, the wheel is just past the heel. So next we're going to, while he's still holding traction, we're going to feed the strap under his knee. We're going to go up. Pull it secure enough. Pull that tight, nice and secure. And once you come down here, you're going to have this wheel. So this wheel, once you attach the strap around the ankle, this wheel is going to be pulling uh, pounds of traction. You're going to want to pull around 10% of the person's weight and do not exceed 15 pounds. And you're going to want this leg to come equal with the other leg and not pass. So we're going to while he's still holding traction, does not release traction. Wrap this around the ankle. And that kind of pulls around the heel. We're gonna pull traction here. Let's say that's equal. We're not exceeding 15 pounds. Okay, so next we're going to secure the leg with the three straps. We're going to first secure closest to the ankles. We're gonna slide it under both. Oh. And secure that one nice and tight. And then we're gonna take the other small strap and we're gonna secure up here. It's a big strap. Put small strap. And while you're securing this, we're going to make sure that the issue strap is as far up around the hip as possible. You can't really tell because it's a mannequin, but we want this to be angled up like that, so it's really securing it up. And then we're going to take the big strap, and this one's going to go around both of the legs, and it's going to be around the knees to secure the affected leg to the non-affected leg. In order to properly complete the skill, you're gonna to wanna to put the patient onto a backboard. Once the patient's on the backboard and you're moving them around, you wanna be aware that this traction splint is extending past the body. So you don't want this hitting into anything, just be aware of it. 